Hey guys, King Cade here, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own tycoon in Roblox Studio. Let's get right into this. So in my last video I made, I actually made a video on showing y'all a tycoon that I made. It's not finished just yet, but I made a tycoon using a free tycoon kit. And I'm going to be showing you all how y'all can do that on your own. So here we are on a brand new base plate. So what you want to do, head over to the toolbox just like this. And under models, just search ZNAV's Tycoon Kit. And it actually might be ZNAV. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, ZNAV's Tycoon Kit. And just click on this one right here. I will put the link in the description if I remember. But if I don't, just click the first one right here. Which should be this one right here. It should say Fixed by no Noted API. Yeah, that one right there, it should have a few thumbs up and stuff. And then, yeah, so this one right here is what we are going to be using. And I'm going to be showing you how to modify everything inside of it, such as changing the models and all that stuff to completely personalize it. And then eventually make it look something like this. Again, this one isn't finished, but no, but it does have the basic tycoon layout. So first off, what I recommend doing is preparing a few dropper models and upgrader models so these ones right here are a few that i already went ahead and modeled a little bit ago so yeah so i already have these from my previous video i did make some brand new ones so if you're planning on customizing this tycoon then of course you'll want to model some of your brand new like droppers and all that stuff i do recommend modeling buttons as well because these buttons don't look too good but yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to like customize all of this stuff and replace it with your brand new model. So what you want to do first off with your droppers, go ahead and highlight all of them like this. Make sure they're anchored and rename them to dropper base. So, yeah, so just make sure they're dropper base, no space, just like this, how I spelled it on the right. So just rename it to that. It is able to be a model. So don't worry, it is able to be a model. But for these buttons right here, make sure that they are a single mesh and rename them to head h-e-a-d a head like that and just make sure they're a single model if they are a model then they won't work so make sure that they are a single mesh like a single part just like that and for your upgraders make sure you highlight them and rename them all to upgrader base just like this i actually didn't rename one but rename them all to upgrader base and then your like decorations and stuff these don't really need to be renamed like this crate right here i don't need to rename it it's just chilling so what you want to do to go ahead and replace a dropper and a button what you want to do is let's first replace a dropper so go ahead and grab whatever dropper you want and just kind of move it next to it just to make it a lot easier so move it right there and what you want to do since this entire thing is a model right here don't ungroup it because that might break things i'm not entirely sure but what you want to do hold down alt and then it will allow you to select individual things inside the model so go ahead and click on this one right here and by the way before you do anything i just recommend looking at these stuff right here the buttons model and the purchases model are the main ones that you're going to be looking at the buttons and the purchases so the buttons model is filled with all of the buttons that you'll click on to buy stuff such as this one right here the buy walls button that is linked to the walls item inside the purchases such as this one right here the the begin working button is this one right here and it is actually linked to the mine one in here that allows you to buy this. So anytime a player has enough money and they click on the button, this item right here will go ahead and appear. And I'll go ahead and show y'all more about, about the buttons later on and how to use them. Yeah, so what we are going to do, go ahead and click on this. And it will open up this model. Go ahead and just delete the dropper base model. Don't delete the actual dropper, just the dropper base model. So go ahead and delete it grab your dropper just move it where you want it to be it doesn't have to be aligned with this let's just go ahead and move it closer so now what you want to do grab this dropper model and just drag it into the model so right up here it is somewhere up here yep dropper one go ahead and drop it in there and now it is a part of the buy dropper one model and actually that is inside the buttons so we don't want it in there we want it inside the dropper one so there we go now it is part of the dropper one so under this part that says drop go ahead and click on it and just move it towards the nozzle of your dropper so about right there so this is where the part is gonna like actually drop down so right there and I recommend turning the transparency up to one just so it doesn't show up. And there we go. Also, by the way, if you do want to modify how much money the part from your dropper gives, go ahead and click on the script. And then this right here, you can go ahead and modify the value. So this is how much each part is going to be worth. So if y'all ever played a tycoon, they go ahead and drop parts and then they go over here and they do sell. So each part from this dropper will give us five cash. But if we wanted that to be like 500, we could just add two zeros or we could change it to like 47, just like that. But we're just going to go ahead and leave it at five. And that is pretty much it for the dropper. That's all we have to do. You pretty much repeat that with like all of the droppers. 
but now we are gonna go ahead and modify the button so let's just go ahead and grab a button model from over here let's go ahead and just put it right here so what we are gonna do hold down alt select this and just delete the head so this head piece right here just go ahead and delete it grab your model right here and then let's go ahead and drag it up into that one so it is under the buttons tab and we're just going to drop it into by dropper one since that is what it is let's just go ahead and move it closer and once again make sure it is renamed head and it is a single mesh or else it won't work yeah so now what this is going to do there are three objects in here that you want to look at which is dependency object and price so they are very simple so the only part that you're going to look at on these is the value so what the dependency is is the value right here that's just what you have to buy before you're able to buy this so since the value is mine the mine is actually this thing right here so that means that we have to buy this mine right here before we're able to buy this so what that means is the button won't appear until you get get this so you have to click on this button right here and then after you do that this one will appear because you can't really buy the dropper before you get the mine so you click on that button and then you click on this and then the object right here this is just linked to what the object you click on is this is just linked to what object you're gonna get so the object refers to the object under the purchases model so such as this one the value says dropper one so that means once we click on this button the dropper one model from the purchases model right here which is this that means this is gonna go ahead and appear here. so if we wanted let's say dropper 2 to appear once we click this button we would just click on object and we would just rename it to dropper 2 just like that and then the dropper 2 object will go ahead and appear but of course since this is by dropper 1 we do want that to be dropper 1 since that is what this is right here and then price this is just how much it's going to cost to unlock it so this one is says 70 dollars right now the value is at 70 but if we want to like change it and the player pays like 500 cash to go ahead and unlock it, then we would just rename this value to 500 and then the pair player would have to pay 500 cash to go ahead and unlock it. Also, by the way, if you do change how much it costs, make sure that you go up here and you do rename it. You rename it to whatever you want so it doesn't have to be by dropper one. But on the edge right here, it does say like $70. Just right there, it does say $70. So if you were to rename it, if you were to change the value so it costs like a hundred dollars make sure you rename it just like this so like a hundred and then it will go ahead and say it costs a hundred dollars just so it doesn't confuse the player so that is how you replace the dropper and that is pretty much the exact same for all the other droppers and yeah so to go ahead and replace the upgrader it's pretty much the exact same as the dropper so what you do is you click on it and you delete the dropper base model right here go ahead and delete that and then you add in your dropper model so right here the other dropper base model so that is pretty much all you need to do to replace it just go ahead and delete this one and add that one in here instead make sure you do keep this part right here that is actually called upgrader because this part you didn't change the color of it the texture and all that stuff but make sure you do keep it because this is actually what adds value to the object yeah so that is how you go ahead and change the uh, droppers and the upgraders but now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create new droppers, new upgraders, and how to add like decorations and stuff that you buy. So what you do to create a new dropper, what you do is hold down alt to so go ahead and select it. So select the dropper model and then just go ahead and click, click control D. Just move it where you want it to be. So first, once you duplicate it, what you want to do is just rename it because you don't want it to be renamed dropper one because we already have a model named dropper one. So make sure you rename it. And then again, just go ahead and delete the dropper base and then just replace it with it, whatever dropper you want. And yeah, pretty easy. Just make sure you rename it. And for the button, what you want to do, click it, make sure you collect the actual model and not just the mesh right here we would go ahead and click this click ctrl d move it over and then we would re rename this like buy dropper three or whatever whatever we name this dropper and then we would also rename the price and then dependency right here what we would do we want the players to buy dropper two before they can buy dropper three so we would rename this to dropper two just like this so this button won't appear until they buy dropper two and then under object since the object that we want to appear would be this one which is called dropper three let's go ahead and rename it actually we'll go ahead and call it dropper four since i already renamed the button to that let's rename it dropper four so this button we want it to make dropper 4 appear so what we would do under object we, instead of dropper 1 we would just rename this dropper 4 and what that does is once we click the button this dropper right here will go ahead and appear and under price just go ahead and rename this to whatever you want the player to pay so let's say we want this to cost five hundred dollars we go ahead and rename it to five hundred and then it will cost the player five hundred dollars to go ahead and buy it let's also make sure we rename it right here it's five hundred dollars so pretty easy for the player to understand there we go and yeah that is how you add a brand new dropper exactly the same for the upgrader 
And yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to just add brand new things. Let's say we want some crates as decoration right over here. So what we would do is we would make the crates and just make sure you select all of them if it's multiple stuff and just click Control D to make it into a model. So now if we click on it, this is the model right here and just rename the model to whatever it is. So since these are crates, we're just gonna rename it crates. Go ahead and grab the model and move it into the purchases model which is this one right here. So where it says purchases, we're just going to go ahead and drop it in there just like this. And now what we're going to do, go ahead and find any button. We're just going to go ahead and grab this button right here. So let's go ahead and hold down alt. There we go. Go ahead and hold down alt, select the button. There we go. Go ahead and click control D. So make sure you select the button and click the actual model and not just the mesh. So this one right here, control D. And now we're going to go ahead and move it over here. And of course we want to rename it because we don't want it to be called by dropper four. So we're going to rename it to crates by crates, just like this, which I renamed it wrong by crates. And we want it to cost, let's say $750 to buy these so 750. There we go. Then dependency, we want the player to have bought dropper one before they're able to buy crates. So we are going to rename this right here. So this button won't appear until they buy dropper one. Then the object. The object, what it is, is, yeah, since it's the crates model, so we are going to rename this to crate. And price right here, what we are going to rename it is $750, since it would cost $750 to go ahead and buy that. And there we go. That's pretty much done. Now, what we are going to do, since we are just going to test it, we're going to go ahead into this script, and we're just going to make each part worth like $10,000. I recommend doing this just whenever you're testing, so you don't have to spend 10 minutes gathering enough cash. Just go ahead and buy it. So here we go. We are testing. By the way, make sure you actually click this right here before you begin testing because or else it won't work so here we go let's go ahead and click this and we click this button to go ahead and spawn in some parts and let's go ahead and click this over here to claim our cash and there we go so now once we buy this and i actually don't think i have enough money. yeah i actually didn't click the things to get my cash now let's go ahead and click on this there we go and as you can see this one appears and so does this one so if we click this as well our crates will appear now if we buy this we can also buy this one right here and there we go pretty nice also this may look confusing but it's actually not once you go ahead and try it out and once you do it for like 10 minutes it just becomes super simple you just have to go ahead and like try to do it and after just a few minutes it just becomes super simple even though it may look confusing but yeah and yeah you pretty much just go ahead and do that for your entire tycoon to add more droppers add more floors you delete stuff such as this stuff over here so we would just like select the model and then delete it and then eventually you can get it to look something like this so over here we have all of the droppers and then over here we have all of the decorations such as the walls right here and then the second floor right here as well and then all of that stuff also adding a second floor may look confusing but it's the exact same method as adding the crates and yeah that is going to go ahead and be all for this video though super simple once y'all go ahead and try it out also if y'all want me to make a second video on like how to do some other stuff such as how to make walls and add them into the game and how to make a second floor make sure to leave a like so yeah so if y'all want me to make a second video make sure to leave a like and comment also make sure to comment if y'all have any questions or what you want me to show in the next video so go ahead and show y'all how to make the best tycoon and yeah that's gonna go ahead and be all for this video so make sure to leave a like subscribe and turn on post notifications and i'll see y'all in the next video